Hello, everybody. Once again, I'm Lee McCrafton Jr., a.k.a. Zorval Chan, Less Than Guru. Today is Torg Tuesday, so we will be talking about Torg. And uh, this will be a shorter one. I had planned originally to do a deep dive into this adventure because I thought that maybe I would have finished my game mastering of this last week. There are seven acts in a mega adventure in Torg. Here's Mars Video Cat. Um, and within those seven, high five. And within those seven acts, um, they were almost at the end of act six. They had went through uh, four of the five scenes and the last scene could have been a very easy, we do, we uh, complete the deal that we had agreed on. We had got this, you got this, we're supposed to exchange and everybody, everybody would have been happy if not um, perturbed by what they had wrought during the previous session. But things went very sideways and things happened that I was not quite expecting. It is something that when you have two choices, it is one of those main two choices. Players sometimes like throwing three or four other choices out there. Um, but I was really thinking that they were going to probably do ch choice one. And they did a hard, uh, well, one, one player character did a very hard choice too. And there were some people that tried to divert it back to choice one. And then what has seemed to be the, oh, uh, what I want to say, the defining moments of me running this adventure on live stream is the big bad in guy got one shotted by rolling a one to soak and when you roll a one you cannot re-roll unless you have a second chance card or maybe there is a perk out there that i can't think of but villains don't get cards and this villain did not have that perk and all the villains in, in this did not have that perk and they tended to get uh one shotted very easy and boom took a lot of damage, they couldn't soak that damage, and it was above their wounds, so um, boop, left turn, and it it wasn't like I was upset or mad or like, girl, I gotta figure out a way to kill them because they killed my villain and stuff, it was more just like, oh, and then I look up at the time, we get a little bit, and I look up at the time, we go a little bit further, and what could have been, say, 15 minutes ended up being three hours um, but people had fun and that's the main thing and the other thing I find very humorous as a game master running this adventure is there's only been twice that I have seriously thought the group has gone so fast and so far in an act that they might get through it towards the beginning of the next session and instead of having like 30 minutes or an hour of a game and then stopping it, I would tell the players, hey, you probably are going to get through the next act. So go ahead and jot down somewhere what you might spend your XP on, what items you might want to requisition and purchase and things like that. And have all that ready so that when we hit the end of an act, we can do that and then start the next act without problems. And both the times they've done it. And then they've taken those hard lefts and we have extended it to where it is seriously a every act takes two sessions, which is fine. It's just really amusing to see those times that they went so fast and they went like through four uh, pretty intensive scenes. And then they get to that five, that fifth scene and which could have been even faster and it just expanded and, and filled the whole session now tomorrow they're in the last act and the last acts of mega adventures are usually a little more condensed i think there's one less scene so they could theoretically finish it and that's what if i was thinking about how things go that yes they probably should finish this book tomorrow but the way that they've been doing things, I would not be surprised if they get through three scenes super fast and then the last scene they just expand on in some crazy fashion that I never thought about, which is 
perfectly fine and great. Um, it's just something as a game master, you make a plan, you put your players in front of it, and the plan goes completely crazy because as a game master, you cannot have know every player's thoughts plus how they interact with each other and things like that. Um, so because of that, I'm not today going to do my deep dive into Blood on the Blasted Lands, but next week I will. Next week's video will probably be pretty extensive. Um, I kind of did a, a prep and I didn't like the way that it turned out. It also had that clicking noise, um, chirping, whatever you want to call that horrible noise that was infesting my videos. So I just scrapped it. It That, with me rambling, because that's what I tend to do is go off on tangents and stuff like that, but was around, say, 55 minutes. So next week probably will be a longer uh, Torque Tuesday, so I will uh, get this one closed out faster. I'm on like six minutes now, but by the time I finish, it'll be 10 minutes. So do, uh, if, you, if you are interested in how I game master this, go here on YouTube, go to Roll Hit Die, and look up uh, Blood on the Blasted Lands, and all, all, all including, I believe, last week's are up on YouTube now. Tomorrow at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Pacific will be the st at least start of Act 7. Um, you can watch that as we live stream it. And that is also on Roll Hit Die, but it's just Twitch. And other than that, um, I'll go ahead and I will uh, end this video now. If you want to subscribe, hit subscribe so you can keep up with the, the content. And I do thank my subscribers and anybody who watches these videos. Um, so I'll just say that. Once again, I'm Lee McCrafton Jr., a.k.a. Zorval Chan, less than guru. And until next time, I will catch you later.